Hello, I'm Hansi Parchment. You're watching Talawa TV with Crystal Davis. How are you feeling after that? Uh, obviously, we're disappointed. Uh, we knew he wasn't good enough today. Um, you know, we've got a lot to work on, and you know, it's just really, you know, frustrating for us as a team because we know we're better than that. Is it a little bit odd coming back here? Because obviously we know that you are arguably an Arsenal product, even though you're playing for the opposite side of North London. Um, you played in front of a record-breaking attendance. Did any of that play on your mind, or is it just business as usual? Uh, no, obviously I left the club a long time ago. You know, they've obviously I was a product of Arsenal, but yeah, I left the, I left the club a long time ago, so I don't really think about that. You know, it's just another game, and you know, I'm, I'm a, very much a Tottenham player now, so this is more important to me. This North London derby. It was 101. Um, appearance there in top flight of women's football in the WSL um, 101 a century of appearance what was that moment like for you uh, obviously it was an honor for me to you know I've been in the league for a long time and I've been you know in and about it so um, obviously it was an honor and I'm really happy that I made it at Spurs before I forget my manners congratulations on the World Cup qualification Tell me, talk me through that moment for yourself and your family uh, yeah, it was a big moment, uh, you know, we went to that tournament knowing that we had to get results and we did just that and uh, I was proud of all the girls and yeah, proud of myself for being there and playing a big part in that. And I spoke to Big Drew earlier on, she said that apparently Morocco fancied their chances against us, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it's a little bit of banter we've got in, so in the true. team, yeah, yeah, they think they can have us, but uh, yeah, it's a little bit of banter between us and another girl that plays for us who's unfortunately injured today, but um, yeah, you know, we know they've got no chance against us when we come to the World Cup. So maybe the JFF need to arrange a little friendly, perhaps, maybe... The latter stages of this year, maybe next year, a little friendly before we go off to the World Cup. Oh, against Morocco? Yeah. Yeah, of course. You know, we'll take them on at any point. So, uh, yeah, we can look forward to a, a challenge against Morocco. I like that. I like that. I think we can take them. What about the, the, the Lionesses? Because, you know, we have a large Jamaican diaspora community in England. I'm pretty sure that the Reggae Girls fans and Lionesses would love to see us go head to head. Yeah, I mean, it would be amazing. Obviously, the Lioness has done great in the Euros and, you know, they came out deserved winners. So, to be fair, for us, any game's a game for us. And in the World Cup, it doesn't matter who we're drawn against, you know, we'll still put the same passion and fight into it. And come next summer, it would be winter for them in Australia or New Zealand. What will that moment be for you when you walk out with your teammates? Uh, yeah, um, it'll be great. It'll be an honour. Um, I know we just want to stay fit and fresh, you know, for the season. And we've got this whole season to go first. So we concentrate on that and then hopefully look forward to a World Cup in the summer. Wonderful stuff. Becky with the safe hands. I will be seeing you at some point during the season at another game. OK, have a lovely weekend. See you later. Yeah, Thank well. you.